The Yak-38, also known as the Yakovlev Yak-38, was a Soviet-built carrier-based vertical short takeoff and landing VSTOL aircraft developed in the 1970s. While the aircraft was an impressive engineering feat for its time, it was plagued by several significant problems that limited its effectiveness and ultimately led to its retirement from service. One of the primary issues with the Yak-38 was its lackluster performance. The aircraft's VTOL capabilities were achieved using a unique arrangement of three engines, two lift engines for vertical takeoff and landing and a single main engine for horizontal flight. However, this configuration resulted in a heavy and complex aircraft with compromised performance in both vertical and horizontal flight modes. The Yak-38's payload capacity was limited and its speed, range and maneuverability fell short compared to contemporary fighter aircraft. Another major drawback of the Yak-38 was its poor reliability and maintenance requirements. The aircraft's engines were prone to frequent breakdowns and required extensive maintenance, leading to low availability rates and high operational costs. The complex nature of the VTOL system also made the Yak-38 challenging to operate and maintain, further reducing its effectiveness as a combat aircraft. Additionally, the Yak-38 suffered from inadequate armament and avionics systems. Its limited payload capacity meant that it could only carry a small number of weapons, restricting its combat capabilities. The aircraft's radar and other avionics were outdated and less capable than those of Western aircraft, putting it at a disadvantage in air-to-air -air -air combat scenarios. Overall, the Yak-38's combination of performance issues, reliability problems, and limited combat capabilities rendered it ineffective as a frontline fighter aircraft. The Soviet Navy eventually phased out the Yak-38 in the late 1980s in favor of more advanced and capable carrier-based aircraft. Despite its shortcomings, the Yak-38 played a role in the development of VSTOL technology and paved the way for future generations of vertical takeoff and landing aircraft.